Summer is coming to an end for children across Central Florida, and as families finish back-to-school errands and doctor's appointments, experts say you should be making sure that your kids are feeling okay. West Street's Christina Watkins tells us about one health care system putting physical and mental health first. Like when we meet new people, sometimes we can feel shy. Shy. Helping children to become one with their emotions and feelings is how Dr. Monica Barreto spends a lot of her time. She's a clinical psychologist for Nemours Children's Health in Orlando. Oh, um, I, I just saw that. How about I think he's used? As doctors make sure your kids are physically ready for the start of a new school year, they're also making sure they are mentally prepared. It's all part of a new program at Nemours to increase access to mental health care while decreasing the barriers. Every child above the age of 12 is getting screened for anxiety and depression. What does that actually look like for children? Management of stress, organization and time management, their sleep, their attitude on how they're feeling overwhelmed with both academics but also social activities that are starting up soon. Dr. Barreto says it's never too early to start the conversation. In fact, they see kids as young as three years old, like this little guy. Because part of our brain is how we feel. Helping them identify what can they control. When we are nervous, we often feel out of control. So if, whether it's homework, how do we break things down into smaller bites? And just asking them in this moment, can we control yeah. our breathing? Can what we control our environment? Beautiful. Can we break down assignments? So just working with them in problem solving skills. She encourages all parents and guardians to ask your children if they're okay and make it a routine, even when you know they're feeling fine. In Orlando, Christina Watkins, WESH 2 News. Dr. Barreto says if your kids have headaches or stomach aches before school, if they are not sleeping well, or if you see mood changes, those could be signs of anxiety. So you should talk it out and make sure you are communicating with your doctor.